my stepfather, he trained racehorses. So early age, you know, it started probably 12 years old when I was first around the racehorses. And I, you know, from there it, it become a part of me. I've grown into the sport, love the sport of horse racing. I had a scholarship to go to college, an academic scholarship. I passed that up because this is what I knew was my love. I wanted to train racehorses and get into the sport, so I passed up college for this. When I first went out on my own, it was tough um, trying to build a stable. You, you start out with zero. I had a promise from an owner that was going to send me a few horses, and that backfired. I'm looking down the shed row at uh, just a couple horses, and I actually had a lot of help from Keith the Somo. He sent me a few of his horses to train and help get me started. From there, you know, I picked up Dr. J. Armin, and they started sending me horses, and my stable eventually grew. When I think of Summer Burton, I think, you know, I, I owe a lot to this horse. I, I owe my career to him. To reflect on the races that he's won and the things that he's accomplished in such a short time. And here is Summer Bird to win the Belmont Stakes. And now we're talking that he's the top three-year-old colt in the country right now. You know, it's just an indescribable feeling. I hope people can see that I can manage a horse like Summer Bird and continue to do well with him. Uh, I think it, it's very hard to keep a horse at a peak level and he's he's kept it and actually you know he keeps peaking so uh, he he's helped my stable out dramatically it's just been a great great year